Hey Sagittarius and welcome to your reading for March 2019. My name is Melanie. This is a general reading for Sagittarius Moon Sign, Sun Sign and Rising Sign. Uh, so it may or may not resonate with you but just take what you like and leave the rest, hey? Um, so I use a five card spread for the monthly readings and the five cards that came out for you guys as you can see there. Um, in the past um, energy position you have the lovers card with a little ant crawling on it. <laughs> in the position of current issues, current situation this month, the three of coins or the three of pentacles card. In the position of possible obstacles this month, the empress card. In the position of what may be helpful this month, the um, the world card. And in the outcome position, the eight of cups card there. And the card that's kind of half lying down there, I use more as an overall theme card and I'll be reading from uh, a book later on about that card and that card's called Sugar Glider Represents Courage. So let's have a look at them all together and see if we can make meaning from these cards for you guys. So the first card you have for the past is the Lovers card. Um, so this obviously can represent um, relationships, love, you know, um, compatibility, harmony, um, choices um, very much about choices this card to do with like the, um, the star sign Gemini and the twins and having to choose one or the other it can be a bit of a struggle there with temptation it can be about um, vacillating from one thing to another or meeting, needing to make sort of intuitive um, choices this card can be about um, the masculine and the feminine um, within us um, it's sort of about following one's heart to make a choice. So whether this is actually about a um, relationship, a new relationship that you've entered into, or really sort of good soul connection um, that you have with someone, um, that could be an intimate relationship, otherwise it could be a business uh, relationship or a, a friendship. Um, maybe you felt a real attachment and a connection to this person has been a, a, a commitment um, in some way shape or form um, and there's you know possibly even a marriage of some sort or there's been an issue that you've been grappling with in terms of which way to go um, and feeling it a bit of the crossroads um, um, to do with something in your life where a choice has needed to be made and you've sort of been struggling with that a bit and struggling with that um, whether it's compatible for you I would say whether this is a good union whether there are things your values align with someone else or something else um, so that's your past energy so let's just keep that in mind coming into the month of March where the card for the the current month current issues and situation you guys have the three of coins or otherwise known as the three of pentacles this is a card about collaboration and teamwork it can be about learning it can be about the it's about the, the early planning stage of a project of something of you know like having the blueprints for a building should we should we say um that that there is that you're heading in the right direction there has been some progress made a firm foundation has been built or is being built so there's so it's like so far so good so it, it, this is a good card that bodes well for the future because the groundwork has been laid there's no kind of reward coming in just yet because it's kind of early days but it's saying keep going there's been a degree of skill um, put into this some expertise some craftsmanship um, there's sort of been um, coming together uh, of people, you know, like in a team situation to work on, on something. Yeah, I'm just keeping something in mind throughout this reading. Um, sometimes this card can come up around um, issues to do with teamwork. You've had to work with people, work in any sense. I'm not just talk, talking about job. Um, any kind of thing that's required an effort or a sort of a, a team effort whether you've wanted to or not and maybe you've been um, with someone or some people that you wouldn't necessarily choose to be with but you've kind of needed to work with them in some way on a project and there, you, you, there's essentially needed to be some cooperation and that does guarantee um, 
success but sometimes there needs to be a bit of compromise on that on the plan on the foundation that's being built hmm so it looks like you've been working on something um, collaborative this month a choice has been made perhaps in the past to do something and now there's this team approach there's this planning and foundational stage or something Mm, moving into the obstacle position for this month and that is the Empress card which is one of my favorite cards of the deck the Empress herself is a very fertile beautiful luxurious woman she represents absolute feminine power she's wise she's experienced she's the mother the matriarch she's fertile she is about pleasure luxury beauty abundance success you know, satisfaction, marriage, wealth. She's very much about birthing something. She is very fertile. Um, sometimes she can be a little bit too overindulgent and too too obsessed with nature and beauty and all the fine things in life. This could actually represent a woman in your life who is in a position of authority, who represents sort of female strength and abundance. Um, whether there is a person like this in your life that is somehow a bit of an obstacle when I think of that I think of a mother-in-law getting in the way of an issue um, that you're trying to work out or work through hmm maybe this is a family issue I'm thinking now uh, there's been a union in the past there's some good foundations have been made you've been working on something a project Maybe you're building a house and there's some family involvement and there's someone around you who is getting in the way of things, someone in a position of authority and has a, a feminine, whether that's an actual woman or someone who embodies the energy of the empress. Or I think this could be about uh, pregnancy, the reading, and about a struggle with fertility, uh, whether to make um, making a choice around having a baby or not having a baby. Um, accidentally falling pregnant or intentionally falling pregnant or if there are problems with fertility needing a with that team approach needing to go and get some fertility help you didn't really want to do that of course who wants to go and do that but um, aren't we lucky that we have that option now in this day and age to get some help but there's this obstacle here and even though she's a very this is a very fertile card I would say um, there is some sort of um, Mm. difficulty perhaps with the fertility or with the birth of a new idea or birth of a baby I'm wondering why she's an obstacle let me think on that and we'll come back to it uh, moving into the position of what may be helpful this month um, you guys have the world card you have three major arcana cards in a reading of five cards significant month I would say the world card is the last card of the major arcana and represents the end of a journey um, the end of a long journey um, and there's a sense now of rejoicing um, being in a sense of victory um, conclusion reveling in your success um, everything's kind of come together in this cyclic nature and now you're sort of at the end of a process or a journey and the world is your oyster the universe is looking down on you now and luck is really on your side it's a reminder card that all things are possible all things are possible and there are always endless forces at work way beyond what we can see and make sense of it's a very personal card um, it's often compared to the wheel of fortune card which is typically is to do with karmic events that are happening in the past but now the world card is about what's happening in the um, future this card can suggest that the timing is right for pregnancy this is why I'm wondering if this reading for some Sagittarians may be about pregnancy actual pregnancy or otherwise the birth of something brand new the conception of something but you've needed a bit of help there has been an obstacle in the way there of the fertility or the creation of a new project or a new person, a baby. Um, but it looks like with the world card here, the, the timing is is right and there's a sense of celebration coming together with that. 
and being mindful that the world is your oyster and to have faith in that bigger um, the bigger picture the, the, the universe and those forces outside of us is sort of looking back over the past and going okay I've been on that journey but now I'm stepping forth into the world I'm stepping forward into my future into into this new life or new project or something Interesting though that you have the Eight of Cups card as the outcome card. This card can be about needing to move away from a situation that has been quite disappointing. You feel a sense of disillusionment. You've come to see something that was otherwise hidden and you're like, that is so not what I thought and I'm going to walk away. It's a card about walking away from something that has disappointed you quite a lot um, and you're almost withdrawing or abandoning uh, something you're escaping from something um, there is a sense that something is missing and you're sort of now leaving a situation to find out what that is but you're also walking towards something else although you may be leaving something and abandoning plans having to let go and move on and this comes with it a sense of loss um, you're seeking greener pastures and you're recognizing the kind of harsh reality of a situation. Um, perhaps you've been a bit blind to something, like I said, and been a bit in, in, in your own head with something. Maybe that too is related to the Empress card, a little bit too obsessed with this beautiful project or beautiful something that you want to birth into fruition. But now you're like, mm, it's not going to work out how I thought it would. It's not to say that it won't work out. It's just going to be, I think it's just going to be different to what you hope for. And that can be a real struggle, I think, to let go of that. I really wanted it to be like this, but hey, it's actually going to be like that. That is such a life challenge that we all have to go through when we recognise that we're not in the flow of something and we're going to have to um, change tack in order to um, get back in the flow, to recognise that usually it's our fears that are holding us back and we're holding on too tightly to something and we need to let that go and move forward. And that of course takes courage, which brings me to that um, card lying down there, the sugar glider card representing um, courage. Um, so let's have a look. Um, um, what I like to do is read from this book, the Dreamtime Reading Cards book about the cards, which I, I think I mentioned I use as like oracle cards. The Dreamtime is the um, Aboriginal um, Australian spiritual belief system. I love these cards. I think they are visually very beautiful and I love the words and the meanings behind them. So let's have a read now. Sugar Glider, Courage. The Sugar Glider is a possum, a member of the marsupial family. This mammal gives birth to, oh, there we go, gives birth, are you kidding me? This mammal gives birth to tiny live young who are raised in a pouch of skin in the mother's abdomen. This tiny possum glides from tree to tree by spreading its arms and legs and using the thin membrane of skin between them to glide to where it wants to go. It lets the air currents support it as it leaps and glides through the branches. The sugar glider's, glider's message is to have courage. It has learned to take giant leaps of faith. Ah, that reminds me of the world card. And to focus its energy on where it wants to be. It's here to remind you that you are supported even if you don't realise it. Now is the time to jump into the unknown, to take risks and to do things you have feared for so long. It's time for action and you can no longer stay where you feel safe and protected. You do not... Ah, that, I wonder if the Empress represents that. You felt safe and protected by... An, a maternal energy in some way shape or form but you need to leave that in a way you need to leave home and start your own adventure you do not need to have all the answers you just need to believe in yourself and take the first step towards your goal do not let your fear of the unknown hold you back have faith in yourself and the direction you see and take that risk then watch your life soar crikey oh that makes me emotional that's so beautiful well, guys, um, Sagittarians, what an intense month for you, you guys. You're really processing, um, no, birthing or creating something brand new here. I can see the struggle in that. I really can. And having to make some really tough choices. I, I think this reading, in my sense with this reading, is to say have courage. Make those tough choices. Walk away from things that aren't working. Go with the flow. 
work through stuff that you've that that has challenged you that's made you change tack even if you've really been very devastated by that um, in the end it's better to not fight that to go with that flow to have that courage um, and something beautiful will come at the end so Sagittarians I'm really thankful and grateful that you've taken the time to watch and read um, this reading I really hope it's um, resonated for some of you even one of you <laughs> um, all the best for March take care of yourselves and hopefully I'll see you back in April